and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back here to the channel guys and welcome here to El Clasico week. There is lots to come of course for the Copa del Rey game coming up on Sunday and in today's news roundup that is certainly on the agenda with injury updates, vital vital information on Messi and Usman Dembele. Will either of those players or both of them be involved on Wednesday? All of that to come along with some big transfer news on the side of Matthias De Ligt. It's all coming up. Stay right there. Let's do this. But we will start with some rival news, and in particular, some very, very important information in the title race, simply because yesterday, as you all know, Atletico Madrid dropping points, not only dropping them, but losing to Real Betis. They went there, they had a great chance, a really good opportunity to go there after our draw of Valencia and put some pressure on, but they fell at the Kike Setien hurdle. Real Betis won, Atletico Madrid nil, thanks to a second half penalty from Sergio Canales, and that means that Kike Setien has now beaten Barcelona and Atletico Madrid with Real Betis this season. And with Atletico losing, it actually works out that our point against Valencia, just when we thought we dropped two, we've actually gained one. We've moved one point further ahead thanks to that loss from Atletico, thanks to that good display from Real Betis. And now we top the table by six points. And of course, as we spoke about yesterday, you're looking at the schedule, you're looking at upcoming games, and certainly in the next weekend, things could get very, very interesting for us, simply because on the Saturday, Real Madrid head to Atletico Madrid in the Madrid derby. If we go to Athletic Bilbao on Sunday, and we beat them, and in the Madrid derby, that one ends as a draw, we are going to be laughing. We really, really are. Because if that happens, if Atletico Madrid and Real Madrid draw on the Saturday, if we do our job on the Sunday, beat Athletic, we are going to be eight points clear. That will be massive. Given our schedule, given the games we've got coming up, that kind of breathing space, that would be phenomenal. And just while we're talking about rivals, another result certainly to make a mental note of would be Leon's victory yesterday by two goals to one over none other than Paris Saint-Germain in Liga 1. It was a brilliant performance last night from Leon. They are at home, the home crowd are behind them. There was some really good individual displays. They got some fantastic players in their midfield and certainly their victory yesterday was a big, big moment for them. PSG have not been defeated in Liga 1 since January 2018. That's over a year ago. Leon last night though snapped that record and that'll give them a lot of confidence. And as we knew before, we already knew this was not going to be easy, but certainly looking at that first leg game now, going away to Leon, we are going to have to be absolutely ready for that game. But of course, guys, we do now move on to the vital news regarding Lionel Messi and Usman Dembele with the Classico this Wednesday in mind. We'll start first of all with Lionel Messi and right now, there is certainly some concern. Now, on Saturday against Valencia, he clearly had a problem with his thigh. It wasn't classed as an injury. He didn't go off. He continued and he completed the game, but he did come to the sidelines and there was clearly a lot of rubbing of the thigh. He pulled up his shorts. They were really working on it. They were moving it around. They were sort of seeing what exactly was the problem. There was certainly discomfort comfort there from Lionel Messi and since then just gradually there's been concern after the game Barcelona were saying there's no injury there's no problem Messi is going to be absolutely fine but since then it hasn't really been all that encouraging and today unfortunately Lionel Messi not in full training with the rest of the group he spent the day in the gym he was working on his recovery now the day after a game that wouldn't be so unlikely you know a lot of players go in the gym they often do recovery the day straight after a game has happened but the two days after after the Monday today, we played on the Saturday, it's not that great to see from Lionel Messi, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I think personally, he's going to be okay, it's not an injury, it's only discomfort, but at the same time, if there's any element of risk, looking at the games we've got coming up, thinking about the bigger picture, this is still only the Copa del Rey, even if it is a Clasico, do not risk Messi. If he's not 110%, don't risk him, do not put him through that, we're going to have to wait and see what happens, but as of right now, there is a bit of concern. On Zembele, though, things are looking slightly better, simply because he's been working really, really hard since he got that ankle injury to get back as quickly as possible. He's had this game in mind. He wanted to return in the Clasico, and he came in on Sunday, and he was actually ill. He had some fever, and Barcelona actually said, sorry, Usman, you can't train. You're too ill. But he came in. He wanted to work. And look at that change in attitude. Look at the player and the professional that he is becoming. He's working hard now. He's getting his head down. He's acting as that model professional that we want 
wanted him to, and clearly on the pitch, the difference is staggering. But good news today, Monday, Dembele back in training. He's been training with the group. He's 110% recovered from the ankle injury. The only obstacle now is just that little bit of fever. But he did train with the group today, and he is okay right now. So with regard to Wednesday, he could well be included on Dembele. Things are positive. And just finally, guys, I want to bring you a story from Mundo Deportivo today, which is, of course, on Matthias Delict. And I think it's very, very significant simply because this is quite an in-depth report here from MD on Delict, and particularly about his preferences with regard to an upcoming transfer. And you can see here, the cover reads, Delict wants to come. He wants Barca, and that could happen in the summer transfer window. The article basically goes on to say that Delict believes that he's really a Barcelona player. He believes in himself that he really fits the style of play and that he could come here and really settle in well and apparently he's up to date with everything and I mean everything that's written about him with regard to transfers linking in with Barca. MD actually say that his grandparents keep everything that's written the publications, the newspapers about Barca links and they send them to him they actually send those kind of links and those reports to De Ligt. So that's very very interesting indeed that he's really keeping an eye on it and De Ligt is also very keen of course to follow in the footsteps and the same path as his teammate and good friend Frankie De Jong. De Jong of course joining Barcelona in the summer and could he be bringing Matthias De Ligt with him? That could well happen because MD say De Ligt wants to move that bad. He could reject other lucrative offers. Because up until now, it's certainly been Juventus who've been the front runners for De Ligt. They've been offering big, big money both to the player and also to Ajax as well. And it was believed that Juventus certainly had the best offer and the best chance of getting the centre-back in the summer. However, just a few days ago, De Ligt was actually asked about those Juventus rumours in an interview after a game. They said Juventus seemed to be very, very close to your signature if we're believing the reports. And De Ligt was very clever in his reply. He actually laughed at the journalist. He said, I know what's true and what's not true and I can only tell you that I laugh about these kind of reports so certainly delict to Juve anything but done here and so with that kind of information in mind and Barcelona's good relationship with Ajax which has been really good now for quite a long time very similar clubs very similar philosophies and of course it all goes back to Johan Cruyff but at the same time that relationship was strengthened even further after the De Jong deal everybody was really happy with that Barcelona have got themselves a fantastic player Ajax got themselves the fee they wanted and they were really happy within the club to see De Jong move on to a club like Barcelona and continue on that kind of path and Barcelona believe they can do a deal very very similar to that one for Matthias De Ligt. Barcelona believe they could again make an offer of 75 million euros with a potential 11 million in variables. They believe that could be enough just like it was with De Jong to get their hands on De Ligt. So obviously things right now are looking very positive. What could go wrong? Well, it's very, very similar, I think, to the way that De Jong sort of mulled over his decision. He wasn't 100% sure that he was going to go to Barcelona. He did take his time, and I think that's very, very similar what's happening with De Ligt, simply because of playing time. De Jong was very worried about Rabiot, and De Ligt, apparently, according to MD, is worried about the amount of centre-backs that we currently have at the club. But simply the way I see it, I think in the summer that's going to be a very different story, simply because in the summer, starting next season, I think these are going to be our centre-backs. Piqué, Umtiti, Longley and possibly Todibo providing that he doesn't go out on loan. Vermaelen's contract this summer expires. I think he's going to leave on a free transfer. Jason Murillo's loan will have come to an end. There's nobody really from Barcelona B that I think is going to be promoted in the summer. So you look at it there. Piqué, he's 32 years old. He's not getting any younger. Samuel Umtiti, he's still yet to even recover from the injury problem that he's suffering right now. So to be honest, looking at that, looking at those players there, you would think, given his quality, Matthias Delict will come in. He will get game time. He will play, no doubt about that. And I'm sure that just like with Frankie, when Barcelona travelled to Amsterdam and thrashed out a deal face to face, I think Barcelona can go there, convince De Ligt, providing that we have the money. That's the big, big thing here. Providing that we still have the financial muscle and the ability there to go and pay the money that we need to. I do think this deal could happen. But as with any possible transfer, guys, only time will tell us. And so that brings to an end today's news on the Barcelona front, guys. Hope, as always, you have enjoyed this video. Please leave your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of today's news? What do you think of Lionel Messi and Ousmane Dembele? Should Messi be arrested in this kind of game? Do you think he'll feature on Wednesday? And of course, tomorrow, guys, there's going to be lots more coming up on El Clasico. We are going to be giving Real Madrid the full shakedown and looking at everything you need to know ahead of that big 
big game coming up on Wednesday. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I will see you tomorrow for that big build-up. But until then, as always, Visca El Barca! Oh, <laughs>